this is something I say over and over and over again and it's rarely understood on the on the real depth that it needs to be understood because if it's understood on the depth that it needs to be understood it radically changes your life and how you understand the life process and it's part of how the meta mind relates to and apprehends and comprehends the world and the concept is that context is biopsychoactive context is sewn into the fabric of existence everything that happens every experience that you have is contextualized by a hidden meaning making map within your mind and the actual experience or event or apprehension of reality is then co-created by the context that you provide it with that he healing hidden meaning making map and the context that you provide it through your hidden meaning making map and the actual event combined to create your reality therefore having really awesome experience is half of the equation the other half is having really awesome context to frame that experience to filter that experience to sort that experience and to amplify that experience because it's the two things together that create the emergent whole that is your reality <clears throat> and so a lot of people within the what I will call spiritual communities or new age new thought spiritual but not religious unity churches yoga studios mindfulness communities want to just have experience we want to just have experience but if you understand that there's no such thing as just having experience that changes everything because just having experience means I want to let the shitty meaning making map and filters determine that experience and let that create the emergent whole that's my reality so if you're gonna have awesome experience you better have awesome ways to contextualize it and understand it because those two things arise as one occasion you cannot separate them they don't pull apart <clears throat> an experience or context is so biopsychoactive that you can take for instance someone who is a sophisticated wine taster who understands every bit of the nuances of what makes a wine a really awesome wine and if you give that person a bottle of wine with a fake label on it and it's a twelve dollar bottle of wine they will drink that wine and they will have a certain experience that is contextualized around their understanding of that being a twelve dollar bottle of wine and what they know about that cheap bottle of wine and they will then grade that wine in a way that reflects what a twelve dollar bottle of wine is but it doesn't end there if you measure their brain while that is happening there's certain circuitry that are firing there's certain fluctuations the dopamine and serotonin levels in their brain there's certain brain waves that are forming and that can be recorded and if you take that same wine tester and you put the right label on that wine and you tell them that it's a four hundred dollar bottle of wine and you tell them the exact story about the vineyard how the grape was created the sophistication that went into the whole process right the 15th generation Italian mother that you know worked in the vineyard and you take that same person and have them grade that wine the same wine 
with a different context will create a different grading and not only that but it will fire different circuitry in their brain where their literal experience of it changes and if you understand that you realize that every time we go into the world we're processing reality through a hidden meaning making map we have some story about it and that story filters all experience and so truth is an attractor right the truth of the higher of of the sophistication that goes into that bottle of wine has an award attached to it there is a there is an attraction towards that which is more even theoretically soundly constructed that represents more truth that holds more complexity and sophistication and if you if your experience is contextualized in a way that's more true and more sophisticated than the experience and the context combine a new emergent property for you and you can't escape the reality that you will filter sort judge behave based on your experience from your experience based on those hidden meaning making maps so the point is to understand that we got to get out of the idea that we just want to have an experience because there's no such thing it is always sorted and that filtering by the mind is always biopsychoactive bio meaning it literally changes your brain the context you give something psycho because it literally changes your mind it's biopsychoactive is everybody with me so one of the things this is meant to be an antidote to is some of the what I believe are really confused and low-level ways to contextualize experience and we want to elevate our understanding of what's happening so the experience is sorted on higher levels contextualized on higher levels and leads to greater truths uh, that we can use in our life and so my main point to this is to understand that the reason it's so important to me that the, the teaching the theoretical constructs the understanding around all of this right you're not all going to get it today but understand it's important and the more of it you get the more of it you grok the more that changes that hidden meaning making map it opens up space for that experience to be metabolized inside of you in an altogether new way that can lead to something that was not possible without that level of understanding so are you with this these are epoch six concepts what the Harvard developmental psychologist calls construct aware I am telling you how your reality is actually constructed that's not what you think it is the thing out there combines with the thing in here and that creates an emergent property that is your reality and there are no things out there at least not for you that don't combine with something in here okay 
So the more of it we get, the more the biopsychoactive nature of higher truths can help shape our experience in ways that create even higher truths and understandings that often determine our behaviors and how we relate to the life process in general. So some of this is going to be pretty deep and we never get it all but it's important that we keep right as I said this is seven <laughs> days through nine summits that our new Meta Modern Mystery School goes through in 12 months <laughs> so this is a lot in a short period of time but I want to set the context that context is biopsychoactive. See what I just did there? Yes, everybody with me? Okay, so this is why the map is important. 